Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick unboxing of the Sony Xperia XA1, which is a, a mid range handset from Sony with a bezelless design. Uh, it's a little bit better than the Xperia L1 apparently, so I wanted to check it out here. Uh, you can get these for about 200 euros, so I will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, I didn't get the XA but I did get the XA Ultra and I was quite impressed actually with the design uh, but I just wonder why Sony doesn't use the same kind of design with the high-end phones uh, but maybe they will in future so we're just going to unbox this here and see uh, what this one does bring Oh, so you get a nice uh, card here, Xperia Care, in case you need any uh, support. So you can see this is a gold phone. And this is the device here. I mean, look at those bezels. That is pretty sweet that you are getting that. Can we get any focus? There we go. So nearly uh, completely all screen. There is some bezel at the bottom, at the top, but you know it's definitely a step in the right direction, I think, for this particular design. And it feels very premium, I've got to say. You know, it doesn't feel as cheap as the L1. Uh, let's just unpeel this. Mm-hmm. This is very stuck on and I don't have any nails so it's quite hard to get off. There we go. So very nice gold colour here, not too tacky. Uh, it's uh, just like a yellowish kind of colour and that uh, is very nice design. Type C here at the bottom. I should see it as well. What else you get in the box? I do like to check that out. So, Type C cable, your books, your charger, which is a standard one. Oh, and you get some earphones with this one. You didn't get them with the L1, but they are very basic uh, earphones here, nothing special. Well, it's better to have something than nothing at the end of the day. So we just put the box to the side here and see the phone. So this uh, is, it feels actually a lot thinner than the L1 and very nice in the hand, gotta say. Just going to get rid of the screen protector. I think there is a screen protector on there. Uh, it's quite hard to see, but I can certainly see it. There we go. Nice. Let's boot it up here. Wow, so it's a very tall phone, this one. Very uh, narrow. It looks pretty awesome, gotta say. And they're keeping the headphone jack. Kind of blends in with the table. You can't, you, all you can see is screen. So typical startup here, we'll just run through this nice and fast. And just put my password in. Whoa, nearly. <clears throat> so 
So I think we are once again getting a MediaTek processor, which you know how I feel about that. I think this is the Helio P20 processor, so better than the the other one, whatever that was. Uh, you are getting a 23 megapixel camera on the back and an 8 megapixel front facing camera. Uh, 32 gigs internal storage, which is nice. And we're in. So this is the interface here, typical Sony. As you can see. I'm just get rid of this and get the brightness up. So this is the max brightness here. Don't think it gets quite as bright as your uh, XZ Premium or anything, but it's bright enough. And I think we're getting 720p display. So that should be okay because it's a five inch display. So let's have a look at the software. Uh, again, Android 7.0 with a ton of updates to come down. Uh, so let's have a look at the equalizer settings. So they're all there, as you can see, X loud, put that on. Oh, we've got a software update, we'll do that later. Oh, no, don't do it now. You can do it later. I think you have uh, your Xperia assistant as well. So you can, uh, you know, put the smart cleaner on or turn it off as I like to do nowadays because it messes up the memory management apparently. Let's have a look at the wallpapers. Oh, you have uh, live wallpapers here, Xperia loops, nice. And the standard set here, as you can see. So in terms of the actual speed here, it looks pretty snappy going in and out of stuff. I think the P20 processor is a decent one, uh, I think. So you can see this is the 23 megapixel shooter and you do get uh, your suite of augmented reality etc which is nice because you don't get that on the L1. Uh, do we get uh, 4K here? No we don't. Superior Auto, here are the resolutions which is nice and the manual mode as well. Let's just uh, check out the focus speed here. So in fact, let's make it fair. Let's use the iPhone, because it's easier for the camera to spot. So let's focus in, out, in, so it's not the fastest here, but it seems to be doing the job. And this is the quality. So you can see, seems to be decent enough. Nice. Very nice. Uh, so, you know, really digging this handset here. This is only 200 euro, do you remember? And uh, usually 
uh, you know, there's a compromise, but in terms of the build quality, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, I would say that, uh, you know, it'd be nice if you had a fingerprint sensor because that is, you know, a big thing nowadays, but the inclusion of type C uh, physical shutter button as well, you don't get that on the L1. So I got a few phones up there. So you can see it works very nice. Uh, so yeah, definitely going to do some videos with this one and see how it does perform. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you know found it helpful. I certainly did. I, I think it's a, a nice li little device here from Sony. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.